Hello Space Watchers and welcome back to this beautiful setup in Paris. We're here at the West End and this is the fourth day of the World Space Business Week and I have the pleasure to be here with Christina Nicolas, the CEO and co-founder of Okapi Orbits. Christina, how are you doing? Hi Emma, I'm doing really well with this wonderful sunshine in Paris. We're having a wonderful sunshine indeed. So um, these are the last two days but they are so very important for Earth observation, something that uh, you or Okapi are profoundly involved with. We interviewed you last year and I was wondering what has changed in the past 12 months and of course considering us so that uh, um, the space is getting more and more complicated and uh, uh, com operating space is getting more and more risky in a sort of way. Yes, definitely. So we extended our service portfolio to cover the whole life cycle of a satellite operator. So now we extend it from collision avoidance to also uh, mission analysis and planning, so pre-launch services and also to space traffic, measure, uh, space traffic management service. So how do you coordinate with other active operators in your environment? So there is also something interesting coming up. We know that the EU regulations in merits of uh, uh, orbital navigation are changing and I was wondering what Okapi, how Okapi can support this transition, this complex transition. Yeah. <laughs> so we can even work with satellite operators who haven't even launched their satellites yet to analyze the mission to make them orbit safe. So we provide analysis around impact failure analysis, the orbital environment around them, light pollution impacts, and we also help them to be compliant with the new regulations coming up. It's a lot moving at the moment, so we include compliance checks and verifications for national and international regulations. And let's also stress out how important is this part. We need to keep this part embedded in the life cycle of satellites. Companies need to understand that this part, this compliance, even before launching, yes. is fundamental if we want to keep a space sustainable. This is one of the key factors in all the sustainability of the, of the orbit. So, in your opinion, as an expert, what do we need to, to concentrate on right now, in this moment? What needs to be addressed immediately? Yeah, so besides planning the mission accordingly to be sustainable and safe and efficient in orbit, we also have to focus on active conjunctions. So what do we do if a satellite and another satellite have a conjunction with each other? And this I'm very proud to announce that we have our Astrolabe uh, service coming up where we focus on protocols, how to maneuver, how to coordinate and we're uh, celebrating this in the next months with a new release of version 2. Congratulations! Anything else coming up? What should we looking forward in the next uh, so, months? Stay tuned for November. Okay. We had a really successful phase with early adopters uh, for a space traffic management solution and happy to um, have new features coming up in November and to release this in the public. Fantastic. Christina, I wish you and Okapi all the best. Let's stress out again how important it is that this new mentality is becomes embedded in the space industry. Thank you so much, Christina. Have a fantastic end of the of the of the meeting and space watch out. Thank you. Thank you.